energy produces energy. The more I paint, the more I feel like to paint. I never run out of idea. And even though if sometimes physically I, I didn't paint, my mind still create. I, I think about painting. I think about composition. I think about color. My name is Hawk on Te. Hawk means luck. On means peace. Te is my family name. In the East, they call me Te Hawk on. When I was uh, when I was studying at the Glasgow School of Art, I discovered the works uh, of the, all the American abstract expressionists. For example, such as uh, De Kooning, uh, Klein, Jackson Pollock, and so on. See. And then, uh, definitely, I own a great deal to all those great masters. I'm an outdoor person, and I love everything in the wild, in its natural habitat. And I also like to go out to walk, and uh, especially I like to go somewhere near the water, or the energy of waterfall, or the open space of, the, of the, any landscape. And then they are very inspiring uh, uh, for me. Uh, I always finish a painting in one go, no matter how long it takes. It could be two hours, three hours. And uh, I have the, all the energy and patience in the world to make it happen and to await the new birth. Uh, but there is also a limit. If the delivery is taking too long, I know the baby is already dead. So it's, it's about time to let it go and get on, you see. And in my case, the longer I spend in doing a painting, the life less my painting is going to be. And all in all, the quality of any good painting is nothing to do with the time you spend in creating it. And I've, I have been to the Gobi Desert, Sahara, and the Desert of No Return. This, this painting is about the energy of the Gobi Desert rising in the air. And I think this painting radiates a lot of powerful sort of forces and strength of the desert. I was born in Malaysia. Naturally, naturally everything about Malaysia is very important to me. So this painting is about my last expedition to the Malaysian jungle where I was overwhelmed by the beauty of the wildflowers and the mystery of the jungle. The whole Oriental culture is dominated by Taoism, Buddhism and Confucianism. Together, they shape the way we think and behave. And they also teach us that the visible world in other words, the world we see it has no value. So we must therefore res respond to the inner force of the universe, I mean the nature. This is very true if you want to be an artist or a musician. Therefore, when we look at a picture, we should not we seek no explanations. But first, first let our emotions respond to it freely first. And then when we respond to art, we must allow ourselves to experience it first before thinking about it. When I try, to, when I create, I never consider of the viewer's mind or the, uh, what they think of my work. When I paint, I paint with my heart and uh, very sincere about it. And then up to my viewer, to use the imagination to see it and use your heart to feel it. When I paint, because when I paint, when I fully focus, my hand is guided by my heart.